Today, we'll learn how we can use Datumaro to simplify and enhance our dataset preparation process for model training. Datumaro is a Python library and CLI tool developed by Intel and CBOT.ai. In fact, it was originally a library inside CBOT. Although Datumaro grew into its own separate tool, it's still used with and inside CBOT for data management. It's cross-platform and open source. You can find the original project repository and the CVOT.ai fork at the links below. Here's how Datumaro can help you prepare data. It can read and write datasets into different formats, transform, merge, and filter datasets, compute and compare statistics, manage dataset versions, validate annotations, and run models on the resulting datasets. It supports images, video, and 3D point clouds. We'll cover some examples soon, but here's how to use Datumaro and CVOT at a high level. Although these tools can be used independently without any issues, used together, they can greatly simplify your life. Here are some of the ways they can do that. The first way is using Datumaro to import a dataset into CVOT, modify it, and then export it. Under the hood, CVOT uses Datumaro for import and export. The second way is to use Datumaro for data preprocessing before annotating in CVOT. In many cases, raw data needs some pre-processing, such as cleaning, reduction, and analysis. These tasks can easily be done with Datumaro. The third way is to use Datumaro for data post-processing after annotating in CVOT. For example, you can export the dataset in your own format, convert annotations from one type to another, or split the dataset. To maximize compatibility between tools, we recommend exporting in the Datumaro format. It preserves as much information as possible for further processing. Other formats are more lossy. Installing Datumaro is one command. pip install Datumaro, parentheses default. We recommend installing the tool into a separate virtual environment to avoid dependency conflicts. Once it's installed, we can invoke it from the command line with the datum command, or from Python code by importing Datumaro. Let's go over how the Datumaro Python library and the CLI are designed. Let's go over how the Datumaro Python library and CLI are designed. The central part of the library is the dataset class, which is a container for dataset item objects. Each dataset item describes a training sample. It includes data, for instance, an image or a video frame, and it also contains associated annotations and metadata. Each dataset format in Datumaro is supported by a plugin. For import, there is an extractor plugin, and for export, there is a converter. You can easily add your own plugin if the format needed is not supported out of the box. The basic workflow is the following. We import the dataset and obtain a dataset object. Then we can iterate over items, apply transformations, compute statistics, or do other operations. Then we export the dataset in a format of our choice. The command line tool has separate commands and command groups called context. The context contains several related commands. You can see the list of available commands in the image to the right. Commands in CLI work with dataset directories or with Datumaro projects. A project allows you to work with several datasets simultaneously, apply neural networks, versionize dataset revisions, and more. Let's cover a few examples that show how we might use these commands in a workflow. The first example is a typical task we face in dataset preparation converting a dataset to a new format. To do this using the Datumaro CLI, we would use the convert command. As parameters, the command accepts information about input and output paths and formats. We also pass the save images parameter to include the image files in the exported dataset, which is not done by default. Doing this using the Datumaro API looks similar. Import Datumaro, import the dataset, then export in the desired format. Another common task is splitting a dataset into random subsets. The most common subsets are training, validation, and testing subsets. With Datumaro, it's simple. The top example uses the CLI to call the transform command using the random split method. The subset parameters determine the ratio of data each subset gets. The bottom example does the same thing using the API. The last example is for merging several annotated datasets without intersections. In simple cases like this, we can use the patch command. We need to pass source paths to the datasets. We also include the dash overwrite flag here to update the first dataset in place. The API example at the bottom does the same thing, 
and follows a similar import, transform, export pattern. Here's a demo of Datumaro. Beforehand, we've created a task that has a few images annotated with polygon annotations and a few bounding box annotations with multiple classes. Here, I'm exporting this task into Coco format. We can also export in any format, including the Datumaro and CVAT formats. To maximize compatibility between tools, we recommend exporting in the Datumaro format. It preserves as much information as possible for further processing. Other formats are more lossy. Now, let's export the images for this task. We've downloaded the dataset and we'll call the output directory dataset to make our life easier. Let's use Datumaro to obtain some statistics about this dataset. When we call the info command, we can see that this dataset has six labels and six images in the annotations. Let's try to convert this dataset to another format using the convert command. If we need help, for example, if we want to see what format we can convert the dataset to and from, we can use the help command. After we convert the dataset, we obtain our new dataset. Here are the annotations for it. Note that we only have one object in the resulting image, whereas we add three annotated images. This happened because we have different annotation types. Coco has boxes, polygons, and masks, while Canvid expects only segmentation masks. To get the expected result, we need to convert our annotations into the right format. To do this, we can call the transform command or write a simple script using the Python API. Let's try to write a script. We call transform twice to convert all the annotation types in the dataset. The first transform converts bounding boxes into segmentation masks. The second transform converts polygons into segmentation masks. Now we export the resulting dataset into the CAMVID format and obtain the converted dataset with annotations in our desired format. Now let's split the dataset for training. We can also do this using the CLI or by writing a script that uses the API. We often prefer to write Python scripts with Datumaro because the Python library has more capabilities than the CLI at the moment. Let's write a script to split the dataset. We want to split the dataset into training and testing sets with a two to one ratio. We import Datumaro, open the dataset, call the split transformation, and then export the dataset. We also have some print statements to confirm the resulting sizes. Once we invoke the script, we obtain our split dataset. Here you can see training and testing JSON annotations in the COCO format, ready to be used for model training. For homework, try converting, splitting, and merging a few datasets using the Datumaro CLI and API. If you need help, check out the documentation at the link at the top of this slide. Thanks for watching.